Aww. Hello? 911, we got a call from this number. Is everything okay? Where are you? Where are you? This is the story of Montani Davis, age 26, a mother to two adorable kids, who lost her life at the hands of a jealous ex-boyfriend who could not move on with his life after she found love again. Jamerte Brown, age 24, who she dated previously could not handle her being in love with another man, so he broke her door down while she was sleeping and shot her multiple times while her friend was on the phone trying to get help from 911. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is a bustling urban center surrounded by close-knit neighborhoods. It was founded on April Fool's Day, April 1, 1796 by 12 settlers traveling up the Great Miami River. It's a hidden gem rich in history, culture and recreation but according to records, Dayton has a higher crime rate than 98% of all other cities in the United States. Montani Antoinette Davis, age 26 was born on September 26, 1997. She attended Thurgood Marshall High School, pursued early childhood education at Wright State University, and studied nursing at Ohio Institute of Allied Science. The most important thing to do now is being in touch with myself. She had recently obtained her registered nurse license and planned to continue her education in the field. She loved what she did. She was proud of herself and her colleagues described her as selfless and compassionate, with a strong commitment to patient care. Montani was a mother of two beautiful children. Those were her life. Your first child goes through everything with you. I owe my baby so much. Montani dated someone in her past named Jamerte Brown, age 24. They dated just like any other person and she realized he wasn't the man for her. She wanted someone ambitious and serious-minded. She broke off the relationship and that would be the beginning of her predicaments. After their breakup, she was depressed because Jamerte would not let her be, he made her life miserable. She would post online sometimes about what she was going through. She tried to go out more with her friends so she could forget about the troubles she was going through. She also tried to post on social media about herself, funny things and more. 
I like the way Snapchat make my lips look. Like in person, they're real small and ugly, but on here, they're like real nice and juicy. <laughs> As things would have it for her, the heaven sent her someone who she deserved. She met someone who cleaned her tears and made her happy. He took her on holiday trips. They enjoyed little things together. Yes, she had met her Russell Wilson. She got pregnant and they had a baby shower and every other thing was great. They went ahead to have a baby. He was a great dad. He was present in the two kids' lives. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear my love. Happy birthday to you. What a candle out. He was the best thing that could ever happen to her. He ticked every box she wanted. She even posted both of them on social media doing all kind of stuffs. I'm scared. Come on. Ready? I'm scared. Come on. You got some water? If you die, I don't know CPR or none of that shit. You the nurse. <laughs> you gotta go first. Shit. You gotta go first then. <laughs> Should we say a prayer first? I don't got that kind of energy. Come on, count. Three. Two. I can't do this. Come on, you're making me think about it. I don't like that. Are you counting that? Because when I'm counting, I feel like I'm the one thinking about it. Three. <laughs> no count, no count yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let me breathe a little bit. Let me breathe a little bit. Shit, my mama ain't raised no hoe. Shit, mine either. But listen, this is different. This is a different type of hoe. Go. I'm about to go out like this. 
shit. Somebody said yogurt. Hold on, I got that. Montani was so happy, life was going great. Recently graduated, good job, lovely kids, great partner. Almost as perfect as the Sierra and Russell story. And then boom. Oh yes, boom. Just like how things happen in bad movies sometimes, her ex-boyfriend Jamerte could not believe his luck. He felt like she could be back with him. He was jealous of what she had, he could not handle seeing her on social media happy, also probably be able to get money from her since she has a new good paying job. So he started texting her and calling her all day every day that he wanted her back. This is just an unbelievable thing happening, she could not believe it. He became a nuisance. On April 3, 2024, he called again and promised to shoot her house even with her kids in there if she does not yield to his demands. Montani called the police department to report this incident. She also had to call a friend of her to come stay with her due to her being scared. So around 2 a.m., he was in the middle of trying to break into her home when her friend called the cops but before she could say a lot, he unleashed. He shot her multiple times. Her friend tried shooting back but he was able to escape. Police rushed down to the scene where they saw beautiful Montani lying in the pool of her own blood. She was rushed to the hospital but she succumbed to her injuries at Miami Valley Hospital. Jamerte Brown, age 24 was later identified as the killer. She was able to also leave his name on the previous 911 call she made, so that made it easy for the police to arrest him. A 26-year-old woman is dead, and police are looking for her killer. They said the shooting may have happened in front of her own children. Now, this happened in Montgomery County about 3 o'clock this morning on Torrington Place just off Salem Avenue. News Center 7's Mike Campbell joins us live with what 911 calls and police are telling him. Mike? Well, Gabrielle, investigators downtown at the Dayton Police Department headquarters and those here at the West Patrol Operations Division tell me the entire homicide squad is working on this case. Now, you could actually hear shots being fired when one person dialed 911, and it appears the victim herself made a chilling call moments earlier. 911, what's the address of the emergency? We are not using the audio that appears to be the 26-year-old victim. She told dispatchers an ex-boyfriend was calling her, threatening to shoot up her house, and she told dispatchers she had two children. Then dispatchers received a second call they believe from another adult female that was in the house, but that call dropped. Hello? 911, we got a call from this number. Is everything okay? Where are you? Where are you? Police were already on the way after the first call, but more officers headed to the street and the home after the second call. They found a female, uh, 26 years of age, who had been shot. Uh, they did first aid at the scene, uh, but unfortunately she passed away later at the hospital. Dayton Police Major Brian Johns told us they are following up on some information shared with them in the 911 calls. There is information that, that, we, that we are aware of that there was like a break in there first. Um, that there was like a, a fight taking place and then the shots were actually fired and, and she was struck and killed. Police told me their forensic services unit recovered a lot of evidence that they are analyzing. They didn't want to tell me if someone in the home returned fire against the person that broke in or not. They also wouldn't confirm if the victim's children were in the home when the tragedy took place. Uh, I cannot comment yet on that. Uh, we do have a person of interest that we're trying to uh, follow up on. Our entire homicide unit right now is out working this, this complaint, um, trying to bring some resolution and some justice for the victim and her family. Back live now. Police could not tell me if they've had previous calls from the victim in this case or from the home where this happened. They are checking that, and we will let you know what they discover. He faces preliminary charges of murder aggravated robbery, and aggravated burglary. He remained in custody, although formal charges had not yet been filed as at the time of making this video. It is almost unbelievable to know that a young woman can't have her life going well for her without someone somewhere hating. It is extremely sad her kids have to grow up without the love of their mother for a silly reason. We hope justice is served real soon. Wishing the kids love and light from our side. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Montani Davis. 
May Montani's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.